Hello guys, here we come here. Suzuki Avenue is 124 and Yamaha is 124. Just start with edge capacity. Here you can see in these two scooters, the edge capacity is around 125 cc. When we get the power here, more power is for Suzuki Avenue is 124. 8.5 bhp is the max important Suzuki Avenue, but around 8 bhp is the max important Yamaha is 124. If you come with the torque, the small margin only 0.3 Nm, but Yamaha is 124 dominates 10.3 Nm is the maximum torque in Yamaha, but around 10 Nm is the maximum torque in Avenue is 124. Let's consider undersea storage. Here you can see more undersea storage is for Suzuki Avenue is 124. 21.8 liter is the undersea storage, and there is a difference of 0.8 liter in terms of undersea storage between these two. When we come with the fuel capacity in these two scooters, almost similar fuel capacity is provided. 5.2 liter is the fuel capacity. If you come with the mileage, definitely Razor 125 dominates. 65 plus KMPL is possible in Razor 125, but in Suzuki also, you can get around 55. 5 to 60 kmpl on road. Let's consider the curve weight, which is more heavier and lighter. Lighter is Razor 125, 99 kg is the curve weight in Yamaha Razor 125, but around 106 kg is the curve weight of Suzuki Avenue 125. When we come to the wheelbase, here you can see more wheelbase is for Yamaha Razor 125, 80 mm, but 265 mm is the wheelbase of Suzuki Avenue. If you come to the seat height, you can see 5 mm difference is there between these two, and Yamaha Razor 125 dominates, 785 mm is the seat height of Yamaha. Yamaha Razor 125. In terms of ground clearance, you can see Suzuki Avenue dominates. 160 mm is the ground clearance of Suzuki Avenue, and around 15 mm difference is there in terms of ground clearance between these two. In terms of throttle length, you can see more throttle length is for Suzuki Avenue 125. 1895 mm, but on Razor 125, 1880 mm is the total length. Let's consider the compression ratio. In this two scooters, the compression ratio is on medium range, but by small margin only, I mean, it's dominates here. And when we come with the cooling system, air cooling is used in these two scooters for cooling the engine. One thing we can say that the fuel delivery system used this fuel injection in these two. Here, if you come with the braking type, Combi braking system is used in Suzuki Avenues, but Unified braking system is used in Yamaha Racer for stabilizing the braking performance. Here, let's consider top speed. These two scooters are able to go around 85 to 90 kmph, and we definitely advise you to not go above 90 kmph. Finally, when we compare the price, you can see Suzuki Avenues got little bit high edge in terms of price here. On the screen, you can see the actual price of the base models of these two scooters. So, guys, that's the end video. If you like this video, press the like button, share this video maximum. Support channel if you're in doubt, write in comment section. Thank you.